Hi everyone, come back to another series in Super Badges unit. This time we are tackling the prompt builder template super badge. I was able to some I was able to complete this super badge. This video is intended for people who are somewhere stuck in this super badge or do not know or hmm, somewhere stuck in the series. So let's begin. In order to help you from the scratch, I'm doing this exercise on a new brand new org so that we can follow step by step. So what is the first challenge that is given to us? The challenge that is given to us the first is translate text with a prompt template and a record triggered flow. So there is an object called fitness. There is a field called survey input. This field is used by the end users where in which they will be filling their fitness targets in multiple languages. We need to provide an option to the manager so that they can translate this information and see that in English. And the translated text should be copied onto a new field called translated to survey input field. And that is what we need to complete in here. First, we need to build the template followed by the process of invoking this template from the flow. Let's see that from scratch. So this is the template name that we need to use. In order to do that, let's go to our Salesforce org. I'm in setup. In order to get started, we have to enable the Einstein setup in our org. Search for Einstein, click on Einstein setup. And this is the page that you land on. Turn on this first setting, it says turn on Einstein. So once done, you have to refresh the page so that way you can start building your prompt template. So I'll search for, I'll search for prompt builder. So prompt builder is a place where, where we can create our prompt builder, prompt template. So this is the button where in which we can start off with because we do not have any existing template. So I'll go ahead and click on new button to build from scratch. First, we need to understand which type of a template that we are going to use. The one that I have here is, we have four options as of now. The email template used for customizing or personalizing emails. Field generation is used for any, any repetitive task that you wanted to, where you want to generate some information that is where, like a description or something, that is where you can use this option. And last but not the least, we have flex template. This gives the user the flexibility to use it in any of the use cases. So for now, the one that is closer for my requirement is flex template. I'll go ahead and select that. Copy paste the name that has been given in the template. Help in the challenge. I'll do the same thing in the template description also just to save some time. And there are three objects where in which we wanted to use the information from. One is account. So if you see here, these are the three objects that we are going to use. So I'll just input that information in here. So the name of the entry that I'll be seeing is account. It's API name is account. And the object that we're referring is account. Similarly, I'll do it for contact. And it's an object. I need to refer to a contact object in here. And lastly, we have fitness object. It's a custom object, I'll set that. So once we are done on the screen, click on next. So now if I click on this resources, this is the place where you'll be seeing the configuration that we did earlier. Now let's go back to our challenge to copy the prompt template instructions. One thing that and one thing that we need to keep in mind is the model that we are trying to use as per this challenge is OpenAI GPT-4 Turbo model. So where can I configure that? So you can configure it on the right. Look for OpenAI GPT-4 Turbo. That is the model. Select that. And here is the place where you need to place your instructions. 
And if you see here, there are a couple of places where there are placeholders that have been highlighted here. Our job is to remove them and have the actual content coming in whenever this template has been used. It is referring to a survey input field. So where can I get the survey input field? So survey input field is on fitness object survey input. So if you select that from the resource, that is where it would be changing into blue, which means it is referring to a merge field in action. And we have another reference in here. So let's also do the same. It is also the survey input. So let's go ahead and use it. And done. Now our template is ready. In order for us to use it, what we need to do is we need to test it first. So what I'll do as per the instructions in here, it is asking us to use this account. So I'll quickly provide that account in here. So this is like a email template testing that we do, where in which we provide the information and see the output. Contact is also the same. For the fitness, they have a specific record where in which they have the text that is in other language apart from English. So you can use this fitness 906 record. So I'll search for it. So once you have filled in this information, all you need to do is click on save and preview so that way your template is saved and you'll see a preview of it. So the text that they have entered in here is this one. Right, so these are all the instructions that we have given. The response that we got is this one. I'm really not sure, maybe swimming more. So they have given an input saying that for fitness, what would you like to do? They said, I don't know. I would like to swim more. So that is what we have translated from a different language into English. So this is the response that we have got. Now is the time where we need to we have already saved this template. We have to activate it so that way we can use this in our flow. Now going back to the super badge. So we are done with the template configuration. Here is the place where we need to open the flow and start configuring it. So there is a flow called, There is an existing flow that is half built, which says translate fitness survey input. That is what we need to configure. So I'll just go ahead and quickly open this flow from the setup. So far we have built the template. Now is the time where we need to use that template in flow. So we'll go to flows look for that flow translate fitness survey input open this flow as of now it is inactive i'll open this flow It is a record triggered flow. You can see that from here. And the instructions that we have here is we have a get record and two get records to get the account and contact. What we need to figure out here is we need to add an update element. Before that, we need to use that template.
we need to translate that we need to invoke the template that we have built so i'll just go ahead and click on an action in here and in the action we need to call the prompt builder template let's see if the template is available so template is available let's select that and the name of the action is same thing that we have seen in the super batch so i'm just using the same thing api name is auto populated So the template needs a couple of elements that we have to pass in, which is the account, contact, and fitness. We have to pass in that information from here. So I have an account from the get account element above. So I need to pass in that get account from here. So I'll select that one. Similarly for the contact too. So contact and account are done. For the fitness, since it is a record triggered flow, I'll just use the record with which it has started the flow. So I'll simply say record in here. So once done, we can save this option. So we have just invoked the template that we have created from the flow. Now we have to update the field, which is the translate fitness survey input field. So in order to do that, what we can do, you can use an update option. Update record. I'll just name this as update translated survey input. Description also, I'll put the same thing. Use the fitness record that triggered the flow. Yes, the record that has initiated the flow is the option that I, is the record that I wanted to update. So I'll just select that. In the field, I'll just mention it as translated survey input. So this translated survey input, what is the output that we wanted to give? We want to give the output of the template response that we have calculated. So I'll say output from the translate survey input template and I'll use prompt response once done. I'll save this one and I'll activate it. So far we have created the flow. So far we have created the template and we have activated the flow with the necessary changes. Now comes the testing phase where in which they are asking us to use this record for the testing and create one fitness record so that the flow gets invoked. So for that, I'll go ahead and look for this contact. I'll go to the contact object. Or you can simply search for that contact. I have opened that contact. Under the related list, we have the fitness object. Click on new. Uh, so they are asking us to enter this input in the survey input, which is in Italian. Expectation is that it should be turned into English in this field. So there are other couple of fields that they're asking us to, to enter. Interest type is running. So I'll just say running in the interest type and done. I'll click on save. Now if you see here, this record has been saved. One interesting thing that you would notice is whatever that text that I've entered in Italian is turned into English so that the manager can look at and understand 
what is this all about instead of they going and manually translating it using Google Translate or other translate tools. I have always wanted to run a marathon. So that is what this interest of this person is. So after configuring this one, you can go ahead and check the challenge one. You should be able to successfully complete it. We have challenge two and challenge three coming th coming through. Feel free to stay tuned for this playlist for two and three. Thanks for watching.